Oh, welcome back to Let's Equate. I was just reading a book on anti-gravity and I simply couldn't put it down. On today's show, we have Mr. Newton back again. Um, Mr. Newton, we had a bit of a misunderstanding last time. I've made some life changes since then. Life changes? Like what? I've discovered this amazing self-help program. Uh, self-help program? It, it's far too complex to explain the time we have here, and it costs twelve hundred dollars. But I can get you a promo code to save two hundred bucks. Um. So your second law of motion? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Right. Second. Uh, second. Sorry, it's going back. I've done so much, you know, with all the laws and optics. Yeah. Syringe of my eye and calculus. Right. Second. So the force acting upon an object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its acceleration, given that the mass is a constant. So you would write that as F equals MA, where F is the force measured in Mies and M, sorry, F is the force measured in Newtons, M is a mass, and A is the acceleration. Now, F can be the sum of a single or the sum of multiple forces. But for today's example, we're just talking about net force. And you need to remember that force and acceleration are both vector quantities. So they both have a magnitude and a direction. Mr. Newton, that's a really good point and a very, very thorough explanation. Thank you for that. I like what you did with the units there. Um, I've been meaning to take one of your lectures. I was just wondering if there are any seats left. Oh, that was cute. That's good. No, it's good. I like that. that I'm sorry I had to go there. I know oh, you good. had I, uh, trouble filling those, you know. But uh, anyways, join us next time on Let's Equate, where we bring the people behind the formulas.